to Jeffrey Epstein, part two, guys. And I was just making some coffee, trying to treat myself to a little beverage, and didn't even realize it. Sugar free, dude. It was mixing all weird. The powder was like not mixing into the water really well. I just do instant because it's a lot easier and quicker. <clears throat> and I knew something was up right when I tried to start stirring it in. Looked at the package. Fucking sugar free, dog. Bullshit. Luckily, I got. And this one got that sugar added. It wouldn't be such a big deal if they it tastes like shit. That's what it comes down to. Doesn't mix well. Smells a little weird. Tastes weird. Figure it out, guys. Jeffrey Epstein. When he was getting started with the girls and stuff and doing the massage type of thing, like I said, it would start out very innocent and he would just play it off like it's not a big deal, he just needs his shoulders rubbed and they would do it. He would be in his lounge where nothing sexual for the first couple times. Okay, she massages him, everything went fine, nothing really weird happened, and then she got 150 bucks out of it. Huh. So then, they would say, you know, if you have friends and if they're looking to make a little extra money too, let them know that you just gave me a massage and I paid you 150 bucks. If you have some other friends that want to do that, send them my way. So it worked, and they did. They would have, like, one girl doing the recruiting, getting other girls, bringing them in, because she has actually had an okay experience. Weird, creepy massages, but getting money for it. So that's her impression of the whole thing. So she takes that and goes to her friends and other girls that she think might want to get a little extra money. And she says, hey, there's this creepy dude, but he let me massage him for like five minutes and he gave me 150 bucks. If you want, come with me next time. He'll probably pay you too. And it went like that. They would come in, new girls would find out about it, and then slowly, the massages, he would be in his loungewear. Next time, maybe he's in a row. Still give a massage, everything goes fine. Pays the money, leave. They're like, okay, I massaged him a couple times, 150 bucks. And then, another time, same situation, okay, you're gonna get massaged again, I'm in my robe, but then, I take my robe off right before the massage part. I don't do anything, but now I'm just naked laying there, so, you still want the money, you're gonna massage me, right? You're already here. And it would go like that. Next time. Okay, take the robe off again. Then maybe massage me a little bit over here. A little bit there. Do you see where I'm going? They slowly and methodically got all these girls, gained their trust, and basically could have them do whatever they wanted. 
So when he would say, I have some other friends and they like massages too. They actually like it so much, we do a whole party on a private island that I own. Do you wanna come and do that? Now we're getting into the other people that start getting involved. Where do they come in? In, in his mansion in New York, he got arrested and they had to go check everything. The whole house is set up with secret rooms, two-way mirrors, recording devices, equipment, everything you would need to set up a whole situation to what's one of the worst things anybody could ever be caught doing? Some fucked up shit with kids. Now, there's a couple things going on here as far as manipulation goes. You got the girls, we're manipulating them so they can come with us so we have something to offer all of these guys. A lot of these guys probably know what's going on, but don't bring it up, don't ask any questions. Out of sight, out of mind. But what a lot of them pr probably didn't know was that, like I said, the house was set up for all of this recording. What do you do? You bring in these guys and you film them engaging in illegal acts with minors. Okay, now, why would you wanna do that? Well, like I said, that's one of the worst things you could ever do. Probably wouldn't want anybody to ever find out about it. So, whoever has that video they're gonna have all the leverage over you. You wanna pass a bill? You want to work with this business? Is this offshore company trying to get certain visas for this? Okay, well, we got all these people that can make all these weird things happen. Let's put them in compromising situations, blackmail them, and then we hold all the power over all of them. And that's how it goes. Majority of your bills and legislation and things getting passed and everything going through Washington, D.C. has got Jeffrey Epstein and whoever else he's fucking around with, it's got their stamp of approval. There's weird shit too, man. Like on the island, like there's logs, you can, you can go see like, there's satellites and shit that see what's going on, even on an island. And they, I think it was before he got arrested and right when everything was getting pretty crazy with all of it. They had several cement trucks transported out to Jeffrey Epstein's island. What? Just need to make a quick parking lot? What are you doing with all that cement? Seems like a good way to seal up a bunch of shit that you don't want anybody finding out about. I honestly will be shocked if these people that are named on the list, if anything happens to them. The world is full of shit. Shit people, evil motherfuckers. I hope they all get what's coming to them.